One year ago, here on Capitol Hill, we announced our newest effort to fight drug-impaired driving. I'm pleased to be joined again today by our partners, Jana Simpler, who is the chairman of the Governor's Highway Safety Association, and of course, Shaquille O'Neal, uh, to give you an update. Law enforcement is at the front line of defense against impaired driving. That's why we're funding specialized law enforcement grants. This is a top priority for me. I have served in the law enforcement, and I know how important it is to have the proper resources and training to save lives. Really no statewide data to distinguish between alcohol and drug driving. Uh, even in the city of Los Angeles, this year alone, we've already had uh, 48,000 traffic accidents. Uh, 24,000 of those traffic accidents happen to be hit and runs. We suspect that many of those folks uh, are under the influence of drugs and or alcohol. You know, driving impaired is becoming more complex. Uh, first, I advise all the law enforcement agencies to apply for the grant. And then, you know, we just need to get these uh, officers the, the, the funding and the training that they need it. Uh, as you can see, um, drug to driving is complicated. Uh, it's system wide. Um, the problem is moving faster than the solutions and we need your help. Uh, so, um, like every good visit to the Hill, we don't want to conclude today's event without a call to action. Uh, so, as the new Congress and the new administration convene next year, please remember uh, to think about and to add uh, and to discuss activities and language and funding where appropriate for drugged driving and attacking this problem head on.